So the big topic of conversation this weekend at Michigan, all about the speeds. Yesterday in qualifying, 19 drivers going over 200 miles per hour. The best of the bunch, the fastest man in NASCAR right now, Marcus Ambrose. He's on the pole when we go green later today. Let's hear from him. And I've tracked down the fastest man in the house. So uh, I got to ask you, was it fun Friday, kind of dueling with everybody, trying to see who had the biggest guts to lay down the fastest lap? Yeah, it really was great. I knew I had a good car, and we had a good practice on Friday. And Saturday, all we, we were due to do was one lap. So I was really geared up for that one lap, threw down a pretty good one, and, and got the pole. You know, it's, it's great to get a pole, but it's even better to get all those records behind it. So I hope it sure. sticks around for a while. And who would have thought it would have come at Michigan and not a road course, course for you? So how much of the tires, the new tires, changed your setup and how fast your car is? I think it changed everybody's setup quite a lot, uh, a lot freer. Uh, for sure and less grip less stability so we were trying to get the rear end hooked up a little bit for us yesterday in yesterday's practice we started to cycle some tires too i think uh, cycles on tires are going to be really important here you know the tires are so hard that you know they just get better and better as you wear them in so i think we've done our homework hopefully it's enough you told me after the win last year at watkins Glen that you were going to make give yourself until you got to sonoma to get an oval win why so much pressure on yourself to get an oval win and you've got, you've got one race to get that done. That's today. Well, it's because you guys keep putting me under pressure. Oh, we don't do that, Marcos. <laughs> it's you. Yeah, look, I, I, I'm a NASCAR driver, and, uh, you know, I want to be good on all the racetracks to go to and feel like I'm a threat to win. So I think we've really improved our team over the course of this year, and the Stanley team have uh, continued to support me and been behind me all the way through. So uh, we just want to win every week, but uh, obviously the big one to get out of the way is my first oval win, and we're really gunning for that today. Do you kind of put too much pressure on yourself, you think, to get that oval win? Do you feel like you have to have it to be accepted as an over all-around driver? Now I'm the fastest man in NASCAR, it doesn't really matter, right? That's right, so, uh, that's right. You know, today is all about just, uh, we've got a great car, we've got a chance to win for Richard Petty and for Ford. We're in Ford's backyard, so uh, fingers crossed we can do it for him, but it'll come, we've just got to be uh, consistent and persistent. All right, got to talk to you about something that I have in my hand here. I tweeted earlier that you were having uh, Vegemite, Vegemite for lunch. So explain to us what Vegemite is. With every rain delay, there seems to be a Vegemite joke somewhere uh, nearby. No, not so. a joke, this is more of a story. It will be a joke. You just oh. wait to eat it. Oh, oh uh, eat it. Oh, okay. Uh, Marcos has made us some sandwiches. I believe the boys have sandwiches as well. Are you guys ready to try some Vegemite up there? Yeah, and he's got, lovely, he's got lovely plates for you, too. Let me grab yeah, mine and Marcos. Do like have my plates. Plates. Yeah. Marty, we, we have yeah. absolutely yeah. got the best crew when it comes to television <laughs> in I, motorsports. I'm, I'm going to let you try the, try I the first bite. I thought they brought us I thought Kyle snack, would go after it. I'll try it. Uh, mm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, Kyle, do you want hey, me, that's miserable. Do you want me to try that's it? That's like salt on bread. Yeah, go ahead, KP. Let me see what you got. I can't even swallow it. Look yeah. look, look at Marcus Ambrose. He is <laughs> he enjoying loves it. it. He loves it. Let me just say. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, Marcus, how many calories? God. How many calories? You did put it on pretty oh. strong. That, <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I will say this. That is miserable. I may be... <laughs> He may be the fastest man on the racetrack. I may be I the may fastest man in TV headed range. to the bathroom here in a minute. <laughs> what is it? What is, I don't know I, what Larry this Mack, is. Larry you've got to try that. No, Come on, Larry I watched, got, I got, I watched, He made you a sandwich. Don't let I him down, Larry Rutledge Mack. Come Wood. on. I watched Rutledge Wood try Vegemite. Oh, my gosh. A few years ago. I and I, that's Mack. the sickest I, I believe I've ever seen a man. Larry, Larry Mack, uh, Marcos is calling you names if you don't try that sandwich. How about you, Adam? You got anything for the Vegemite? Come well, on. My, my thing is, if Larry doesn't do it, I don't have to do <laughs> oh, it, no, right? Oh, come <laughs> on, guys. Marcos made sandwiches for you. He's very hurt that oh you're making gosh. fun of his uh, making fun of his country. I've eaten half of mine. <laughs> that, uh, you, got, are you sure, are you are you sure you this starving? is edible? Right. All right. All right. I want to get back to the fact right. of what is this stuff, Marcos? No one really knows. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my uh, God. It's been a half-life of 25 years. <laughs> I mean, he, you, he smiled. I don't see he how you could it. even he, smile He's almost done it. with a sandwich, and he puts butter oh. on the other side. Okay, that's, that's my problem. That's the key way to eat I it. Need, I, got no butter. Butter. All right, I got no butter. All right. I got no butter. I'm going to do it. A little bit of butter on there, but go I mean, ahead. It's, it's double A. There you go, Adam. Go for it, my man. Oh, I wouldn't have gone that big with it. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I, I would not have gone that big. No, no, no. I would not have gone that big. You want a Diet Coke, Adam? I'll send you I'll one. Take Please. Please. I'll take no, anything. I'll take anything. Need, I don't need a Diet Coke. Right I need Santa <laughs> Flush or something. Yeah. <laughs> Larry Max said he needs Santa Flush to get rid of that taste. He needs something. Oh, my gosh. You know, um, Vegemite's a staple of Australia. It's actually a, a vegetable extract. <laughs> and uh, my kids, four and six, I eat it every day for breakfast. So every day do, for you, breakfast. You do get used.
taste of it, you get a taste for it. But it, it is strong stuff, no doubt. Okay, all right. So we've had our Vegemite lesson for the day. I'm done with the story. We Next know what the, delay, we know what the secret to running way, 203 plate, miles per hour What is. plate did you guys get? We, Marcos gave us a, a monkey plate for his kids. See that? Monkey Very brain nice. damage. You ever heard of monkey brain damage? <laughs> Kyle, what'd you get, I got Kyle? the gator. Never mind. I got he an gave, elephant. Actually, Kyle's using his as a paperweight for his notes. <laughs> well, thank you for the plates, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, no worries. It was a good time here. Hopefully your kids don't get mad at us. And thanks for making those boys a sandwich, too. Hey, yeah, you got it. I you, ate, you, you did spread it, though. You put it on thick, so. I put it on thick. I Sorry, ate my guys. whole sandwich. I ate my whole you sandwich, You did, Kyle? Man. Yeah. That's he impressive. Did. Yeah, from High Point, North Carolina, <laughs> eating yes. Vegemite. All right, Adam, take it away. We're done with Vegemite. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle is either starving or he's just flat out a pig. I don't know which. <laughs> Both. <laughs> hey, good, man. hey. Have, have another. Yeah, I mean, here. I only no, no, no. Off Since the you enjoy it so much, here you go, my friend. No, that's right. That's right. There's plenty, plenty I'm for pass. Kyle. I'm passing. I, I will say he, he might be the, the fastest man in NASCAR, but if he invites me over to his house for dinner and gives me some of that, he is the worst host I've ever met. I'm getting ready to leap off here right now, <laughs> oh, right now in a minute. Something's getting ready to leap. It may not be me, but I need a Coke. <laughs> yeah, me too. And I think that probably means we. Need a break, huh? I think we do Give need a break. Right. Help, help a brother out. <laughs> help a brother out. All right. So we had a little Vegemite. Not the snack I was looking for on a rainy day at Pocono. And look at this reaction. Smile for a minute. Yeah. Smile for a minute. There goes oh. the smile. Oh. No longer is he smiling. Wow. Um, the jet dryers are on track. Hey, Marcus, fix these guys some sandwiches. They're hungry driving around Michigan as they get this place dried out. We're going to go racing shortly. It's countdown to green on TNT.